He's dehydrated and has a slight upper respiratory tract infection. The fluids help, but he's still confused and agitated. Dog, sir, 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 I have two dogs. True, true, that's great, sir. That's great, that's great. Did you run a CAT scan? Diffuse atrophy, nothing new or focal. I'm out of here. That's it? What were you expecting? I expected him to be admitted to a psych services bed. But he's got an infection. He's senile and he needs psych support. So now you're a psychiatrist. <laughs> I can recognize senile dementia when I see it. Look, he's not medically cared to my service, okay? He has an upper respiratory tract infection and he's dehydrated. What he needs is antibiotics and IV hydration, okay? I'll buff him up, start the antibiotics and pull the IV. Give him 2.5 Haldol and have social services do a follow-up. I don't have a bed for him. He needs our help. You want me turning away homicidal psychotics because your patient's got one of my beds? Find him a medical bed or release him. I'm not admitting him. End of discussion. Yeah. Lewis? Yeah. What the hell do you think you're doing? You do not admit a patient to my service without a consult. He needs psychiatric help. Not in my opinion. He was found naked wandering down Halston He's Street. senile, not psychotic. He needs full-time care. Admit him to your service. Don't turf him to mine. I tried to. Wirtz wouldn't let me. Don't ever do that to me again. I mean, what are we there for if we can't keep a 75-year-old man from wandering around the north side naked? I just... I just get so frustrated sometimes, you know? I just... want to scream. Well, we can't solve all the world's problems. That's what Wirt said. Oh, he's very wise. <laughs> Listen, you have to be... You have to be very careful how you deal with consults. You can get yourself in real trouble. I just want to make a difference. Yeah, well, you also want to have a career. <laughs> Not everybody's going to be as, as understanding as I was. Oh, yeah. You're real understanding. That's one of my best qualities. Mm. <laughs> well, well. My, uh, my dad once saw Benny Good play at the old Monroe Theater. <laughs> On 33rd Street? Yep. I used to sing there during the war. All those boys in uniform, huh? Well, he was one of them. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe you even danced with him. <laughs> Never thought to talk to her about music. I don't even know anything about music. Neither does he. So you ready to try some of those questions? Like on Jeopardy? Yeah. Can you tell me where you are? What is a jail? No, no, you're not in jail. The cops brought me in here. Okay, okay, I'll give you that one. Uh, do you know what year it is? Uh, what is 1948? And who's the president? Harry Truman. I... Who is Harry Truman? <laughs> okay, now this is a different kind of question. If you found a sealed letter with a stamp on it, Okay, lying in the street, what would you do? Uh, I, I would, uh, I would, uh, It's okay, forget it. We'll try another one, we'll try another one. Can you tell me what the difference is between a child and a dwarf? I am a child, but I'm not a dwarf. <laughs> Excellent, very good, good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hypothyroidism, Cushing syndrome, hepatolenticular degeneration, vascular disease. When you hear hooves, think horses, not zebras. You mean think obvious, think Alzheimer's. That would account for the mood swings, loss of memory, confused judgment, yeah. What should I do with her? Find her family. She probably just wandered off. Absolutely wrong. I'm not wrong. It was a bad call. Admit it, Dad. Anybody could have made it. Are you kidding? You don't pick a guy off first with a winning run on third. There were two outs. McDowell had it sewed up right there. Yeah, until he threw it in the dugout. Right, what do you need? This is Metamax. 
Okay. I've completed a physical, but I'm having a little trouble with this psych exam. Did you run the mental status questions? Tried. Half the time she screamed, the other half of the time she was in tears. Okay, let's see what we can do. She said she's been taking both prolixin and adivin. Schizophrenic? Oh, floridly, yes. Went off her meds, now she's delusional. Hearing voices. You're gonna have to admit her. We're gone. Yes! Into you. Any any patient who's even potentially psychotic should be placed in four point restraints and muzzled. Spoken like a true healer. You know, after fifteen years, not one week has gone by, not one week without being bitten, spat, puked, or peed on. I only listen to the gold fart. <laughs> I'm not old. Is uh is this necessary? The human mouth literally swims with bacteria. Steph Arias, Iconella. The woman deserves a lobotomy. A hammer to the head. Ow! Sorry, did that hurt? Yeah. You worry too much. Kaysen hates me. He's a cardiologist. He's on my review board. I'll need his recommendation. Why would you want it? A man loses so many patients, he gets endorsements from funeral homes. Dev. When I was your age, I worried about what every attending thought of me, too. Forget it. You're a good doctor. You're better than my ex, and I actually married her. Div, there are a lot of subjects that interest me, and believe me, your ex-wife tops my list. Mm. Oh, that's me. My knife-wielding psychotic must be up from his nap. Later. So, uh... So cancel your credit card. If I report it stolen and she tries to use it, they'll arrest her. Would that be so bad? Uh, last time Chloe moved in with me, she stayed for months. Well, you could have told her no. I tried to, but she's... She's my sister, and I care about her. Oh, I don't know. Every year, she seems to get worse. Would you talk to her? Say like what? Anything. Just observe her. Let me know what you think. Well, I could, uh, I could recommend someone. We tried. She won't go. I'll introduce you as my boyfriend, and then she'll never know. Your boyfriend? <laughs> is that what I am? This is my sister, Div. Look, it's 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 a bad it's a bad idea. Why? Well, what if she asks me uh, what I do? You want me to lie to her? Damn right. But what if I have to uh, tell you something you don't want to hear? Like what? Oh, I don't know. Like your your uncle Bob molested her as a child. We don't have an Uncle Bob. I'm sorry, but this is just an awful idea. And I'm not going to allow you to talk me into it. Ho, 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 ho. Time to feed the animals. So you're not going to help her? No. No, uh, no, I'm not. Fine. Susan. <laughs> Susan.
casually mentioned our dinner to Doug Ross. Yeah. Yeah, what's the problem? He's like Dr. Intercom. <laughs> Biggest gossip in the hospital. Mm. The cafeteria workers probably know. Yeah, but you do look great in that black dress. This isn't working. No. no. Oh. What? The patient I mentioned earlier, what? he's right over here, and I was... Three gonna... times you mentioned him. Three times I told you I didn't have time to see him. Look. Uh, what was your name? Div. Malik, why don't I just Malik. take... Malik! That's right, yeah, yeah. And I told you that three times, too. Div. Listen, okay, son, okay, been... enough. Stop. What are you guys gonna do now? Arm wrestle? No, no, of course not. Uh, look, I've had, uh, I've had five admissions today. You know, two attempted suicides, two bipolars who forgot to take their lithium, and a 40-year-old who walks in off the street claiming to be dead, all before lunch. You know, your patient's simply gonna have to wait for the afternoon shift. You're safe here, Chloe. Do you understand? Dr. Benton's going to fix your hand. And then if you want, you and I can talk through all this. Okay? Stitching her up now. She can sleep it off tonight in room three, and Benton said he'd find somewhere to throw Billy. He had to find somewhere to lock him up. Told you, don't like surprises. I'm sorry. It's all right, I'm used to it. Come on, let me get you out of here. Hmm? We can still grab some dinner. No, I don't really feel like it. I think I'll go up top, grab some air. You want some company? No. Can I come over later? Uh, maybe. I don't know, Div. I'll call you. Okay. What are you talking about? It was incredibly inappropriate. Oh, please, I snapped at a desk clerk. He's not a desk clerk, he's Jerry. Well, he didn't do his job. He didn't kill anyone, Div. He lost a chart. All right, I promise I'll never snap at a desk clerk again, okay? This morning it was a cashier at Starbucks. I, I don't know, um... What is wrong? Well, what's wrong is, is that you're wasting my time and, uh, and I'm late for rounds. Doc I, I just, I just want to leave, okay? Yeah, um, why don't you want a doctor to take care of your head? What are you, a shrink? Shrinks, they tell me I'll... Get over it. My my wife gets smashed against the street light. And my son gets his head cut off and I'll get over it real soon. You know, there's uh, nothing wrong with being angry. You know, it's... I don't need this patronizing crap. You think you're real important, hmm? You know, no one, no one denies your pain, Mr. Randall. But self-pity isn't the answer. Don't stop it! Don't hurt yourself! Come on! I'm, uh, I'm ordering Mr. Randall committed for 72 hours. Take him to five, put him in restraints. Good luck, give me up! You, you dumb bastard! Who do you think you are? Come on. You can't do this to me! Like a trick! I'm dead low! What's that about? Oh, I, uh, I committed him. What? Mm. <laughs> he's a drunk. Oh, he's a dangerous drunk. He tried to hit me. Did you do a full psych exam? He's a pathetic drunk. I didn't have to. What's wrong with you? Are you trying to destroy your career? What if he sues? Oh, screw him. What if he does, huh? Are you, are you busy later? You want to do some Italian or something?
processional negative thoughts about work. The, uh, the hours, ludicrous staff meetings, the stink of the halls, and the patients. The patients. You find yourself searching for ways not to hate them. You know, little tricks like, um, she shares a birthday with your mother, or he looks like the brother of a friend. It doesn't work. You feel nothing. Every drop of pleasure has drained from your life. You can't sleep, you can't think, you can't concentrate. You Trouble sleeping? Uh, uh, I was just catching up on some work. I worry you're not getting enough sleep. Are you okay? Fine. What are you working on? Um, patient history. Tiff? Yes, indeed. Go back to bed. Okay. It's late. Hey. Oh, well, that's funny. I was just thinking about you. Pleasant thoughts. Very pleasant. Have a seat. Um, actually, I, uh, I feel like I owe you an apology. Um, I know that lately I've been uh, difficult, to put it mildly. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I've embarrassed you. You haven't embarrassed me. I'm worried about you. Well, I, I've been, um, I've been pretty depressed. Have you thought about talking to someone? A therapist? <sighs> well, things are starting to fall into place. You know, I, I, I wouldn't worry too much. So, are we still on for dinner? With your sister and her new beau, I wouldn't <laughs> miss it. <sighs> Maybe we can talk afterwards. I'd like that. <laughs> Carter? Oh, thank God. Would you like to introduce me to your friend? Miss Carlton, there's a doctor here who can help you. Is it okay if he talks? No, don't! Oh, God! Come on. Come on! Come on! 